And she takes trainers mail out of his front tires. It's really interesting that he can move those night march books out of there. Maybe his hand isn't strong enough for him to you know, take those night march books out right now. Well, that will be that right now. That's not have any big issues. That's all we to worry about. Maybe it's not an immediate threat to him. But uh, this is going to be a big end. He was parked at quite a few cars here. He was going to take that with us. Probably not. I mean, there's two in his prize card, so yeah. it's going to make it difficult. 
Here we see another hand from Diego, still trying to find that lander, so he has to do something just to get some offense going. I mean, the biggest attack he's used so far is across, and that's not really a good sign, right? Uh, decent hand here. He has got a, a shaven in his hand, so he to probably try to play out as much as he can. Yep. Gonna go ahead and draw three cards. It looks like, seems like he drew that lander as he had, but did he get energy this time? Uh, yeah, his hand is uh, short on energy. He's got a uh, switch in there, but yeah, he probably wants to get the landers out at the very least. He does have a super scoop up in hand. It looks like he could try to do that to uh, scoop up the hollow joint and pick up the strong energy. All right, gets heads on that. He can decide which Pokemon to pick up. Could pick up Shamaniac and maybe use that set up ability, or could just go for the sure thing, pick up Haldrich, so he gets the strong energy and uh, is able to attack the Landorus. It looks like Haldrich will be the choice. All right, he gets to put that as well, yeah. but again, with the uh, free flight, it can retreat for free. Yep. So there is Landorus EX coming down right now. With the strong energy, with the muscle band, uh, normally that would do 70 damage, but uh, the fighting resistance makes Bumpkaboo survive, so this is not the greatest situation in the world for Diego. However, it will set up a, a future play with a gold bat, sneaky bite, getting a knockout, so, uh, I mean, he's got to start doing some damage, so. Right, so it brings up that players. Uh, he's got the, uh, like we said, all the buffs that he can on there, but it's still going to be 10 short on the pumpkin. But he does, he's going to be able to set up for that uh, two turn punch. And uh, we'll see if Martin can get enough in the discard pile to counter punch. Yeah, this is where you can see the low HP of Martin's Pokemon really being a disadvantage on this matchup. Sure, those Pokemon survived this hammerhead, but if he gets another one off, it's two prizes gone. And at this point, I mean, if you bench a Jolting, that's an easy way to get back out. So, especially with Golbat and Crobat coming out eventually, the, the damage is going to start to add up. Right, she's getting a Lysander there, probably going to pull up that Shaman since the third one can't get back out of the active. Yeah. So he's going to pull up Shaman just for the easy two prize knockout. Uh, Martin's game plan at this point will be knock out two EXs, right? He's going to knock out the Shaman here, go to the two prizes, and then hopefully knock out the Lander's EX on the following turn. Right, the uh, Shaman uh, not as resilient as the Lander, so a bit easier to get the knockout on that one. Right, only 110 HP, still include those two prize cards, so uh, Martin will prepare by attaching an energy to his new EX. Uh, he just wants to give himself the high odds possible of pulling off a big attack next turn. Going to use a Shaman EX to set up here for some additional cards. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's digging for, but looks like he's got something. Yep, he's uh, going through the there, but yeah, I'm just going to knock out and take the Shaman. And uh, finally takes those two that far away out of the discard. Because now he's really going to get the Landers. Yeah, and uh, you know with those two prize cards taken, it's really the writing of the wall for Diego. Uh, he needs to get his endless turn to shuffle those cards back in. He knows Martin has that uh, jolting in hand. So if uh, he doesn't disrupt Martin's hand at all, VBX can just come out and then he marks for the game and puts down that jolting. Right, so he's going to his hand here, and uh, he's not going to get the uh, yeah, he's going to get the uh, yeah, he's going to get the uh, yeah, he's going to get the uh, to dig it down and end with the, uh, the bad ability. He does play uh, two Shaman EX, so he could search for another one of those. I'm sure it's a liability to put that down, but I mean, this is a pretty decent situation. If you can knock out all the Night March Pokemon and add your opponent down to two cards, I mean, new EX can't Night March if there's no Night March Pokemon in play. So it's uh, a good move to be able to do that. Right, and, uh, that, and I don't see anything really uh, super useful that you can cut on the other side. A lot of times you got to be careful there. And if you do take out everything on the Nightmare side, then you out of nowhere will copy one of your attacks. Yeah, but no, actually, both Shaman EX are in the discard at this point, so Diego has to Ultra Ball for that Gold Bat. And, uh, I mean, he can use both bites here. He knocked out the first pump of the he knocked out the second one, and put Martin in perhaps an awkward position, left to promote a new Pokemon to kind of take a hit. So there we do see the second sneaky bite getting the knockout. Still has an attack yet. Diego's going to hope for something good off of this prize card. Uh, I think he's probably looking for an M. 
Um, I think Martin's trying to do some math, trying to figure out which Pokemon to promote here. If he promotes Mew EX, there is a chance that Kalucha with enough uh, support can knock it out, and that would be a horrible situation for him, so he's going to promote Shaman EX. Uh, looks like Diego got a super scoop up, but that's not really what he's looking for. Right, uh, he does have another strong energy in his hand, it looks like. <laughs> Um, but he, he could maybe try to oh. that lander as well. Uh, big attack. Wow. Yeah, this is, a, this is just a, a tough situation kind of on side If Diego can't win, uh, but he's just going to pass the turn. Yeah, uh, I think, I mean, you can't attack with landers here. If you put that out there, it's just so easy for Mark to win. Right. Force him to have a Lysander and bring out your landers. Uh, he's going to need an energy, a Night March Pokemon, and uh, a Lysander to win the game here, so uh, make it tougher for him. Uh, he's also got to get rid of that and get uh, Shaman out of the active spot as well. Yeah, he's currently stuck. It uh, doesn't look like he has uh, many switching cards in his deck. He does have one float stone, and I think we already saw that used on a couple of games. Uh, yeah, and uh, he is kind of running low on energy as well, so there is some chance that uh, Shaman will be able to retreat. Right, that won't like the, uh, the prizes there too. Right, maybe we saw him have to accidentally, well, not accidentally, but he had to throw away one of his stone cards. And so he may only have one energy left in his deck. Yeah, we see computer search discarding that lambent. Cannot be so they can also discard an ultra ball with that. And we have the last energy in that double ball is energy in his deck. So it's basically all or nothing. You have to win the game, otherwise you're going to be in the game. Right, he does have a heavy boss. He's going to go for that. But it's just not like he's going to get it. Uh, no, he's going to retreat, and if he has that Lysander, he can go ahead and do that for the game. He's got the 